Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon from my side as well, Stefan Engelhardt from SAP. I'm there since 20 years and we are developing and providing industry solutions for utilities in 30 years to the market, pr primarily focusing on the classical meter to cash process. But since a decade or so, we are moving as well more towards um, the data management and the way to deal with operational data, and that is what I would like to talk about now. I would like to um, talk a bit about the business value of smart metering data and what needs to be done to leverage that in the best possible way. Um, while our industry is going to a fundamental change that is really turning everything upside down, it's a real transformation. At the end of the day, I think we will look into a completely different landscape. But in that context and in that process, many utilities, particularly in countries that are facing heavy regulation and uh, change as well in the market roles are looking to new business models. And in that context, uh, the value of data becomes uh, increasingly important. So that actually is a quote from a former CEO of, um, of Energy, which is one of the uh, two large retailers in, in Germany. Uh, he quoted, he said, we developers from kilowatt to kilobyte, which means they really understood the value of this, of this data that they own, not only from a technical perspective, but as well from a commercial perspective. And in order to look to new business opportunities and to optimize customer service and, and uh, enhance the business value, so this information um, is meaningful. The only question is how to leverage that. So that is actually going on, and smart metering is, of course, one element that needs to be considered particularly. When we look to the global scale, um, so this is already uh, on the way. I mean, we talked about it and we heard it a couple of times this afternoon. So smart meter projects are going over, going on o all over the world, uh, an increasing uh, number of deployments. It took some, some time, so we made our solution available for smart metering already 10 years ago. But, and we were expecting really a big wave coming, but that, that took a while, but now we're seeing keeping that up. And if you look to the numbers, you see an amazing uh, increase in the way how smart meters are deployed on a global scale. As well, India um, has ambitious plans uh, to, to move about 40% of the installed base uh, by 2021 to uh, smart metering technology, which provides, of course, an, a, a great um, um, value of data that could be leveraged for a lot of different purposes. We looked into that and uh, in order to understand and to, to, um, to really plan forward what we have to do to really make our solution capable to deal with that, uh, we looked into the technical requirements of smart metering uh, in the context not only of collecting automatic meter data but really thinking this bi-directional way, dealing with the data, putting information back, getting it forward, embedding that in business processes. We set up a couple of, um, of, of uh, a wish list of, of requirements that the solution should cope with, a meter data management solution, to really uh, be able to bridge the gap between operational technology, which is smart metering, and the commercial landscape that we support with our solution portfolio in order to make the best use out of that technical data. And this is just a list. I don't want to go too much in detail here, uh, but it's, it's pretty obvious that um, this, this um, solution has to be pretty open, has to be capable to deal with any kind of um, head and information, any kind of technical data, it has to integrate any source of technical information where smart meter data and technical data is, is, um, is resolved and is coming from, and has to map that and uh, provide that uh, as well to the subsequent system, in our case, the SAP system, which we see from a commercial perspective as the single source of truth. Um, so we thought about, okay, what do we do? We have um, an energy data management solution available, which is part of our solution portfolio, but we felt that is not enough. It has to be really uh, more, it has to move much more towards the, the operational side to make sure that we seamlessly really integrate IT and OT. And uh, we came uh, to the conclusion that the partnership with one leading vendor, Siemens, um, would be the best choice for us to really quickly get that resolved. So we announced uh, last year a, a partnership with Siemens. We embedded the Siemens Media Data Management Solution into our solution portfolio, providing together with Siemens the end-to-end um, -end adapters from the AMI, AMI head and site um, up to the commercial systems and the processes. We do the process integration so that we are capable now to really provide an end-to-end -end view on the technical gathering of the meter reading data and um, the commercial yeah, uh, processing of that. That is important because you need to have that bridge really to make sure that you have this IT and OT conversion supported as well from an IT standpoint. 
That is a bit an architectural picture that should show you on a, on a simplified way how that works. So we we collecting, we have we we leveraging the Siemens MDM solution as a part of our solution framework. It's completely embedded, so you would you would see that as one uh, as one package, and. Uh, uh, those solution, this solution have the, all the technical adapters that are required to integrate various AMI head and systems and to make sure that the relevant data in an aggregate way or in a raw way, depending on the business case, are provided and um, are exposed to the commercial system. So it's a lot of uh, data crunching, let's say, a lot of architectural uh, perspective, but um, this is an integration work that normally every project has to do that uh, is dealing with smart building data and we providing that out of a box as one seamless solution right now. So that is a technical way to deal with that and that is uh, available now. So this means we have now the measurements, the instruments to collect the data, to deal with the big data of smart metering, uh, to do that in a performance scalable way. But the next question is, what do we do now with that information? And that really tackles very much the business user. Now um, we have to find ways to make the business, to, to use the business value in the data, and that is an analytical task. So therefore another focus that we, and I think everybody who deals with smart metering has to take on that, is really the way, how can we extract uh, valuable information by analyzing the data, that large amount of data with meaningful tools. Um, so there are many questions that the business user is facing depending on the role, okay, first of all, large amount of data has to be dealt with, then um, there is fast data velocity, fact-based fact -based decisions has to be made, but how do you make that if you have millions and uh, uh, billions of data sets available, so you need to have a tool that helps you. So therefore, um, we and others as well are focusing very much on providing these kind of tools to provide really um, a, a meaningful business intelligence that helps uh, to understand the structure of the data and to bring it in a, in a business context as a basis for, for future decisions. It starts with an easy aggregation of, of profile data, of large amounts of data, which is then used with, by analytical tools to determine consumption patterns that you may use for marketing perspective, uh, uh, purposes as well as for technical purposes. Uh, you want to maybe benchmark different customer groups or consumption patterns with others. All of that functionality needs to be supported in order to provide then as well uh, predictive and forecasting functionality to work with the data into the future. So that is a focus where we have a lot of uh, research um, um, emphasis at the moment. We are providing a, a new solution recently. It's planned to be shipped uh, mid of the year um, as a complete uh, cloud solution. It is exactly providing that capability, building on top of uh, the metadata management solutions that we or others provide in the market. Another good example for uh, the business value of data, sorry, I'm missing here a slide, uh, but then I tell it on the, on the uh, without slide, is uh, in the area of fraud detection. So we announced this morning a, a close collaboration with, Tata, uh, with, with uh, uh, Tata Power, DDL, and Choice Technologies, a solution provider, to um, work on, um, or to provide a revenue intelligence solution to detect fraud and manage fraud cases, which are in all uh, regions pretty um, uh, pretty much increasing. So and here you have as well to deal with large amounts of data, you have to understand operational information, metering data, you have to bring it in a context with a commercial situation, tariff situation, contract situation, historical data, in order to take decisions in a, in a very um, 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 analytical way uh, based on large amounts of data. That is another example where, where we think um, um, we need to invest in order to really provide uh, and make the best use uh, of this business data uh, that smart metadata is providing us as well. Okay, with that, I thank you very much.